Uh, so this candidate is a uh, is targeting a senior level product manager role as an individual contributor. Uh, they do they're a bit unique in that they've got management experience uh, in different role uh, type, specifically as a partner manager. Uh, been pretty successful in that part of their career, though they did have their most recent role as a product manager, as an individual contributor, uh, and we're looking to expand their roles and responsibilities uh, and, and take on a, a more senior product manager role at a new company. Definitely one of the things you never want to hear uh, a potential employee say uh, in an interview is, well, that wasn't my job or it wasn't my responsibility. Uh, that's just not... It's not a good look, but it also demonstrates a lack of ownership. Uh, and so what you're gonna find in this next question, again, uh, probing this specific candidate around their ownership was trying to understand uh, a time when they had someone who uh, was a peer, um, so just not a direct report, who wasn't getting things done, someone who was struggling, uh, who clearly needed help and wasn't getting what they needed. Uh, and as a you know, individual in the company, you're working towards a common goal at the company level, uh, showing a time where you were willing to jump in and kind of help uh, without necessarily it being your direct responsibility. That's, that's what demonstrates a high degree of ownership. It's not your job, but you do it anyway. Uh, and so that's the focus of this question. Uh, and it's an opportunity for you as an employee to demonstrate what, what kind of a team player you can be. Talk to me about a time when you had a peer who was clearly struggling uh, and you decided to help. What was the issue? What did you do? Yeah. Um, so and by the way, it's totally fine if, if there isn't one, sometimes there just isn't, but okay. So I guess I have, I've had one scenario where I was managing somebody who was struggling and then another scenario where I was kind of working, like collaborating with somebody where it was a little bit, it was difficult initially for us to kind of get, get agreement. Um, and kind of see eye to eye on a couple of things, which one of those, the, the peer, the, the collaboration, collaboration. Okay. So, um, at Oracle, when I was in, in my product management role, um, one quarter I was working through, this was, we did kind of quarterly planning on planning on a quarterly basis. Um, previous to this planning, we had this um, product management offsite where we basically kind of revamped our charter as a, as a business unit of Oracle um, and put together kind of this new set of, um, we used OKRs, so kind of new, new set of kind of high level objectives that we were going to hit. Um, one, of the, one of which was profitability, another one was, um, and that was for our audience business unit. And then another one for the, the data management platform was just um, increasing revenue, increasing kind of increasing business opportunities. Um, and so I was working with another product manager. I had a couple of different partner builds um, that I, I felt pretty strong, strongly kind of straddled the fence between the two OKRs, the profitability, profitability on the audience side and um, kind of increasing the potential, increasing the advertiser experience, revenue opportunity, business opportunity for the data management platform. Um, so those were some things that I was really pushing to prioritize for the quarter. Um, this particular product manager owned a platform that I needed work done on in order to make these partner integrations happen. Um, and this product manager, his, his, uh, his charter, he kind of where where his priority sat was completely within the profitability bucket, um, and he took a pretty hard stance on um, being very against anything that went went against profitability. Um, and if you think about, you know, in this scenario, delivering audience data was not profitable. So if you think about doing a new build or something for a partner that essentially equates to delivering more audiences, delivering more audience data, which if you have bad profitability, it just makes it worse if that's the way you're thinking about it. So I, I had to, um, you know, we, we initially didn't align very well. Um, so I ended up getting a conversation set with him to really understand kind of his world, what the, you know, what, what the rationale was behind, um, really kind of listened to him about why the profitability um, stuff was so important. And then I also went into that conversation aimed 
um, armed with some 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 data points, some information about why his platform, why um, you know some of the initiatives that we were work, we needed to work on together, didn't just kind of satisfy the profitability goal, but also kind of reached beyond that to um, helping out kind of the the business opportunity side of our data management platform. Um, and so in kind of going into that situation with the the mindset of really wanting under, to understand that person, but then also um, having some good constructive points, some good data points to kind of make my case. Um, we did end up get, getting a, some alignment. It was a good opportunity to build some trust and kind of start building a relationship with that um, person where we were able to kind of build up on that um, going, going into the future. Um, and we actually did end up compromising. I didn't get all of my partner work done that I wanted to, but we did do um, one major build, which I really, um, which was really important for me to get out there. So um, I think it did, it ended up kind of creating a, a situation where um, on one hand, there was some success for, for, for one of the partnerships I worked on. And then um, also just a good opportunity to build, um, build some rapport, um, improve the relationship with, with that particular colleague. What made this answer really unique uh, and actually quite good uh, was that as an individual, uh, this candidate, their experience set didn't really allow for this the, the, a specific answer uh, tied to the way the question was asked, right? A peer that was struggling or they jumped in and helped. And so the answer that they gave was more of a collaborative situation uh, with, a, with a partner team that they were working with. Maybe there was a little bit of friction and things weren't getting done. Uh, and so the answer in terms of their experience set uh, and in terms of the context of the question, it was fine, it was good, uh, but what was really great was how they demonstrated their own metrics, uh, or rather demonstrating ownership of their own metrics and objectives and trying to work with someone else to get there when there was friction in place, which has the benefit of demonstrating uh, the ability for this candidate to earn trust. And while this wasn't a specific leadership principle that was being asked about, uh, when you think about great answers that you can give uh, and, and the content that you give in an answer, uh, having your story straight uh, and ability to map them to different kind of answer type or question types is important, but being able to pull in kind of little sentences, maybe a small paragraph in your answer that adds to it, that demonstrates your flexibility as a leader uh, and your multi-dimensionality as a leader. Uh, in this case, not only did the candidate demonstrate cost, uh, ownership, but they demonstrated their ability to earn trust in a situation that clearly wasn't working, but but got there uh, with this with this uh, peer of theirs in another organization. So it's, it's a, it was just a really good answer and, and one that made me quite happy given the experience set of the candidate uh, in product manager roles. So the feedback for this candidate that would have been read into the room with regards to ownership is as follows. Experience as a partner manager and owning the relationships with success tied to the success of partnerships was demonstrated uh, in a way that indicates the candidate has a high degree of ownership. One interesting area where the candidate demonstrated the ownership was the highlighting of their own personal failing uh, in not leaving a company soon enough. This was all good. Uh, where the candidate could improve on their answers uh, would be in demonstrating ownership of uh, features and deliverables and processes for delivering against requirements. Uh, there were answers presented as theoretical or uh, a bit uh, high level, which leaves a lot to the interpretation on the part of the interviewer uh, and certainly is not something you want to do when you're, when you're in the room interviewing for a job. You definitely want to own uh, your answers and not leave it to chance that the, that the interviewer understands or is able to pull out the nuggets uh, from your high level answers.